On this video on grids, we're going to cover a simple yet useful feature called the auto grid. And what the auto grid is, is let me go ahead and draw an object out here very quickly. You'll notice that whenever you create an object, you'll have a checkbox up here called auto grid that'll be available to you. Well, what you can do with the auto grid is when you check it on, what it'll do is it'll, in the viewport, it'll cast a ray and to whatever object it intersects, it'll create a, a temporary grid at that location aligned to the normal of that location that face or whatever you're colliding with and allow you to create an object at that point instead of using the home grid or user grid if you have it active. So for instance you can see how the icon right now is aligned to the world as I move it around on the grid but if I take and I put it over the sphere it changes so that the Z is pointing out. Now if I take and draw another sphere at this point see there's a temporary grid that's created? Let me turn the main grid off so we can see it a little easier. You can see there's an auto grid that's being created and this is allowing me to draw other objects on top of this sphere rather quickly. Not so useful with intersecting spheres, but let me show you an example with a box. You can see how relatively quickly you can come in and start to build up some complex, you know, relatively complex shapes. And this feature is not limited to just the creation of primitives. You can do, oh, another useful example is text. So we'll take, keep and take and drop one in over here. Um, we'll scale it down a little bit. Maybe we'll move it up now that it's there. And then you can do with it whatever you like. You know, maybe you want to extrude it out, make a little sign or something like that. So you get the idea. Um, without the tool, without AutoGrid, you'd be left with doing that same type of operation in several steps, um, such as dropping the text down to begin with. Uh, you might, you know, instead of rotating it, you know, the, the method by hand would be rotating it up 90 degrees and rotating. It, you know, let me go and turn angle snap on. You know, rotating it up 90, rotating it over 90 moving it into position, um, however you do that, you might use an align tool or something like that. Uh, you might skip all of that and use a, a, a face align, uh, will help get you there also. Um, but you get the idea, it's several extra steps, whereas if you just go straight to auto grid, you can draw directly on the object that you're looking to draw on. So, simple feature, it's useful most of the time. That's all for this one.